Well, so far around here, drivers haven't had too many issues at this point. But that could change, as we said, when the temperature drops and that rain changes to snow. LEX 18's Conroy Deluge begins our Storm Tracker team coverage with the LEX 18 mobile cam. Good evening, and we have seen that temperature drop and we have the snow starting to fall here on I-64. We're now heading east. We were in Franklin County where we were seeing snow. And as you can see on the side of the road here in Woodford County, you do see snow along the uh, along the sides of the road and we have seen a steady snowfall since we crossed over at about 515. We were on I-75 about 30 minutes ago and there it was just a steady rain the entire time but the temperature has dropped here in the car. We've seen the reading go from about 36, 37 degrees down to 31 but we've not seen any issues on the road so far. Cars are driving very slow and honestly we haven't seen that many so far as we've been out on the roads but we'll have another update for you coming up later on LEX 18 news and we'll certainly keep you posted if we see anything that happens. We're covering the news live in Woodford County from the LEX 18 mobile newsroom. Back to you. State and city crews are keeping a close eye on the roads here in Lexington. One of the main priorities here in Lexington is New Circle Road and that's where LEX 18's Catherine Gardner joins us live with more. Well, good afternoon, everyone, again. Slowly but surely, Lexington traffic is starting to die down, especially here off of the East New Circle intersection off Woodhill Drive and Life Lane. And with this rain moving through, it's starting to slowly transition into sleep, which means all these drivers you see are trying to make it where they need to be before the worst arrives. We are approaching the freezing point very soon here, which only means the road water will freeze for a brief moment and then snow will follow shortly after. Lance Sawyer says his job requires him to be outdoors, but it's not the cold temperature he's worried about tonight. Man, if this is going to get any worse than this, everybody just needs to prepare. I would say put some salt down, do what you got to do to stay, or might as well just stay out of the weather out of it in general if you can. Now, obviously, these roads are expected to worsen tonight, so if you must drive on these roads tonight, make sure you have plenty of room between each car around you, in front and behind you, as well as slow down your speed tonight. Covering the news in Lexington live from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom, back to you guys. That transition happening in Boyle County, too, as crews are ready to tackle any icy road conditions this evening. LEX 18's Connor McHugh is live in Danville. Kevin and Nancy, things are starting to change here. It feels like we are right on the cusp of that changeover in the weather that we've been hearing from meteorologists, our meteorologists, all day. Around 5 o'clock up until then, it had been just rain and cold around here. But right at 5, we started feeling a little bit of sleet. We're not quite at snow, uh, but you can feel that icy rain coming and hitting the back of your neck. Uh, not enough, not cold enough that it's sticking to anything. And when you look at the roads, we're just on the south side of Danville. This is the bypass. Uh, traffic is fine. The roads are wet, but there is no kind of puddling. Uh, things have not frozen over yet, but that freezing over that may happen in a few hours is what county officials here are most focused on. They're keeping a very close eye on the roads. They say once it continues to get a little bit colder here, it will freeze over, and they haven't been able to pre-treat the roads, so they have salt, they have trucks, they have people who are ready, but once it gets too cold, that salt isn't going to work. So officials here say people within Boyle County need to be careful when they're on the roads. No need to sound any alarms, but they need to slow down or stay off the roads if possible. We'll keep watching the roads. We'll keep watching the conditions down here. Uh, covering the news live in Boyle County from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. People in western Kentucky not so lucky. They've been dealing with the winter weather all day. In Paducah, the snow and ice closed schools and made the roads very tricky to navigate. And even though crews have been working hard, the roads are still covered in many areas. So authorities are advising people to take it slow if they don't have to be out tonight. A little to our north in Scott County, a cold rain has also been falling for most of the day. But there are concerns the roads could get messy as the rain changes to snow and temperatures drop, turning the water on the roads to ice. Meteorologist Jill Swed is in Georgetown with more. Well, hey there, Kevin and Nancy. We are out here with the LEX 18 Storm Chaser weather van. And if you join us at 5 o'clock, uh, it was kind of pouring down rain. Felt very uncomfortable, brutal. And now we're starting to see a little bit that changeover, do some sleet, even at times some snow, or even seeing a few flakes flying around. As we're standing out here along the north side of I-75, it's just down there. And as you can see, the interstate is still wet at this time. 
Travelers, motorists seem to be moving along at a gentle pace at this time. No one's really slowing down. But of course, as temperatures continue to drop, we are going to be seeing the potential for a flash freeze, which certainly could be very treacherous, especially along these interstates. Crews really had not had the opportunity to get out there and pre-treat because of that cold rain that we've been tracking through the better part of the day. But now the temperatures are starting to drop. We're starting to see that transition over to the snow here in Scott County. We easily could be seeing some slick spots developing. We'll certainly continue to track those conditions up here in Scott County through the rest of the night. But for now, let's send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jill. The driver of an AT&T utility truck in Anderson County got a scare today when his truck spun out of control and landed on its side in a ditch. According to the Anderson News, it happened on the US-127 bypass in Lawrenceburg. The driver was trapped inside the truck for about 30 minutes until firefighters could cut him free. Now, we're told he had minor injuries, and authorities say the roads were not icy, but they were wet at the time. Morning came early for Kentucky Emergency Management. They had crews reporting at midnight to keep track of the weather across the state. LEX 18's Lindsay Piercy was at the Capitol, and she has that report in our Storm Tracker team coverage. A team of people with one goal in mind to keep everyone in Kentucky safe. Today we're at, uh, at activation level four and we'll remain at that level throughout the storm event. Did you mark Louisville? So what exactly does that mean? The levels range from one to five, with one being the most severe. Uh, should this require uh, state assets from other cabinets, we'd elevate the, the, uh, the level to three, and then we'd ask our state cabinet partners uh, to come in and actually man uh, these positions. Right now, personnel is monitoring weather around the bluegrass. The winter storm began in western Kentucky. It's expected to drop freezing rain, sleet, and snow through the evening. We also had um, a, a projection of icing. That, quite frankly, is the, uh, the main concern uh, for the state and all of our counties. This is essentially a hub of information, which is being used to tell you how to prepare. Have a plan on how you're going to get there, the route you're going to use. Uh, pay a special attention to, uh, to broadcast from your local media and from uh, your weather sources. To help you at home weather the storm. Covering the news in Frankfurt, Lindsay Piercy, LEX 18 News. We continue to track this system as it makes it play across the bluegrass. Chief Meteorologist Bill Mack will have what we can expect here by the time it's all said and done. That's straight ahead on LEX 18 News at 530.